happy Easter Sunday. I'm gonna post this today so it'll come out on Easter Sunday because I'm referring to it as Easter Sunday. So what do we got? We got brewing or uh, indeed brewing company flavor wave IPA. This is a gift from Ebomi, a brew Bomi. The captain. And uh, let's see what we got. Smells like IPA, the grapefruity flavor or smell. Looks pretty refreshing. Got a little head there. Um, it's not sweet, just a hint of bitter. It's okay. Ooh, a little bit more bitter on that one. But, um, yeah, if you're not an IPA fan, as I'm not, it's okay. Um, good for maybe social settings. Uh, if somebody handed me one of these, I, you know, I drink it. Very smooth. Mouth feels very smooth. Um, yeah, it's it's average as far as IPAs go. It's not very bitter, <clears throat> which is good. But we're here to look at the three fur from Bobby Brown. I got some red hots. A chunky bar, chunky monkey, and some uh, sweet and salty mix. So I remember Red Hots from my brother used to eat these when I was in middle school or elementary school, probably elementary, because he he joined the Navy. Gosh, before I went to middle school, I believe, and he used to eat these all the time. I'm not, a, I wasn't a big fan of them. Um, because they're like the cinnamon candies. And um, like dentine is a cinnamon gum. Not a big fan of that either, but I'll, I'll eat it. But yeah, Red Hots are just these little pills here that look like, I don't know. They look like, um, remember the old Sudafed pills? Hmm. They're kind of crunchy. I don't think you're supposed to chew them so much. Um, I'm trying to think. They're kind of like the fireballs. But, mm, yeah. I kind of enjoy them more now than when I was a kid. I didn't really... I don't know. We had the cinnamon toothpicks. Kids would bring cinnamon toothpicks that their parents make. And they used to sell the cinnamon toothpicks in little plastic things for like a quarter or something. But, yeah. Mm. These are 35 cents, I think. Yeah. They're good for uh, maybe freshening your breath. Sugar, corn syrup, natural, artificial flavors. Hmm. Interesting. But they're not as hot as I remember them being. Of course, I'm kind of immune to spicy things now. It's not spicy things nowadays. I wouldn't say it pairs great or it pairs at all. does accentuate the, the bitterness a little bit, but I don't know. Chunky. Oh, I remember getting these in the big, big bars at um, the movie theater. They would sell these chunky bars in the big, you know, super like half pound size. This one's a little melted. Um, let's see what's in this. This has 200 calories, 
What are the ingredients? Milk, chocolate, sugar, lactose, soy, lettuce, peanuts, raisins. Okay, so it's got peanuts and raisins in it. Hmm. Reminds me of a, um, I don't know what it reminds me of. I don't recall ever eating a chocolate bar with raisins in it. Mm. But, tie it in with sweet and salty. It's got, like, M&M type candy in it. Mmm. No, it worked. Yeah, it pairs pretty well with the IPA. So, this is kind of like your um, sweet and salty mix, except without the um, M&M type candy. So, I guess this would be like sweet and salty mix in a bar. Mmm, we want chocolate. Mmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. That works alright. It's not horrible. The sweetness really does cancel out the bitterness of the, uh, of the IPA. All right, so yeah, Red Hots, I'll give you a little cowbell and uh, all this stuff. Serve a lot of cowbell. Red Hot Bump. I know my loyal fans are staying here <clears throat> because you know what's coming. <laughs> A little bit of that. Oops. A little bit of that. And a lot of that. Hello, everybody. Hello, buddy. A happy Easter. That has to be really hard to chew. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Later.